Hello girls and boys. Welcome back to Read Me a Story. I'm Pat Casira, and a special hello as well to my grandchildren, Max and Theo and Josephine, Charlotte, Penelope, and Simon. I'm going to read you a lovely Pooh Bear book today, but first I'm going to tell you about my book. Here it is. I wrote it. It's called Tips and Tidbits for Parents and Teachers. So this is for your moms and dads to read and it will tell them all about the things I learned in my 50 years in the classroom. It will help them to help you at school and they can get it from amazonbooks.com. All right, back to Pooh Bear. And there he is, waiting for the story himself. Pooh's best friend. And here are all his friends. And remember, they live in the Hundred Acre Wood. There's the honey pot. You never see Pooh around without the honey pot close by. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. One fine spring day, Winnie the Pooh was thinking about friends. He had many friends, but who was his best friend? Could it be Owl, Eeyore? Or Rabbit? Tigger? Kanga? Or Roo? And what about Piglet? Hmm, Pooh thought. What is a best friend? I think I shall ask everyone in the Hundred Acre Wood. Pooh licked some honey from a honey pot and then headed outside. First, Pooh asked Owl. Owl, what is a best friend? My great aunt Gabby once said, a best friend is someone you can talk to about anything, said Owl. Pooh and Owl talked about some things. They talked about the weather and Owl's relatives, but Pooh and Piglet talked about everything. They talked about hunting heffalumps and finding honey. They talked about the best places for a picnic. Next, Pooh asked Rabbit. Rabbit, what is, the, what is the best friend? If you must know, replied Rabbit, a best friend is someone who is unselfish. Pooh liked Rabbit, but was Rabbit as unselfish as Piglet? Pooh remembered all the unselfish things that Piglet had done for him. He let Pooh sit by the fire in his favorite chair. He gave Pooh the biggest slice of huckleberry pie. Next, Pooh asked Eeyore. Eeyore, what is the best friend? I wouldn't know, Pooh, but I suspect it's someone who remembers your birthday. Pooh wondered if Eeyore had ever remembered his birthday. Once Piglet had thrown a party for Pooh, complete with balloons and cake and honey lemonade. Next, Pooh asked Tigger. Tigger, what is the best friend? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's easy, Tigger said. A best friend is someone who sticks around, even if you bounce him accidentally. Hmm, Pooh thought. I stick around Tigger when he bounces me. <clears throat> then Pooh remembered all the times that Piglet had stuck around, like the time Pooh had forgotten to meet Piglet at the bridge, and the time that Pooh had eaten Piglet's lunch by mistake. Next, who asked Kanga. Kanga, what is a best friend? A best friend, Pooh dear, is someone who is patient and kind, said Kanga. Pooh thought, that sounds like Kanga. But then Pooh thought a little longer. Kanga had also described Piglet. Piglet was all of those things and more. Piglet was easy to talk to. He was unselfish and loyal, and he always remembered Pooh's birthday. As Pooh turned to go, Roo squeaked. 
I know what a best friend is. A best friend is someone who asks you to play. You're right, Roo, said Pooh. Thank you. At that moment, Pooh knew who his best friend was. Piglet. Pooh walked along the path and thought of all the marvelous things that he and Piglet had done together. He saw a daisy and picked it. There's the daisy. He hurried to Piglet's house and thumped on the door. Hello, Piglet, said Pooh. I brought you a daisy. <clears throat> How kind of you, said Piglet. Would you like a piece of huckleberry pie? The two friends sat inside. By this time, Pooh insisted that Piglet sit by the fire in the comfiest chair and take the biggest piece of huckleberry pie. For if Piglet was Pooh's best friend, Pooh wanted to be his. And there they are. In their little activities, I think each book has here, leaving out letters of the characters' names. Lots of fun to do. And we always say, girls and boys, that to have a friend, you have to be a friend. And I think that's the lesson that Pooh learned by speaking to his friends. I actually didn't know that he thought Piglet was his best friend, so I learned something today, too. Well, girls and boys, we're going to have a lot of Pooh books in a big series that I have, so I hope you'll come back next time for Read Me a Story. Bye for now.